Hey guys, James with TFB TV, SHOT Show 2020. On the SHOT Show floor, or as I like to call it, lovingly, the dungeon down here under the SHOT Show main floor with my boys from Aero, one of my favorite AR-15 manufacturers. I'm gonna go ahead and follow what we're talking about today under long ass time coming. I mean, I can't believe you guys haven't done this before, and that is a PCC. Right. Jeff, tell me about it, man. Okay, so uh, we got our PCC lineup. We're launching that at SHOT Show this year. Uh, we are in the final stages of prepping for production. So what you get from us, as you know already, Aero Precision provides a, a really quality uh, product in product. We have our upper and lower receivers, last round belt hold open. Uh, there'll be small frame and large frame, so 9 and 40, 10 and 45. Um, we'll do the bolts in house as well. We have uh, additional handguard links to support the product line. Um, MSRP on the upper and lower receivers is right around $249.99. Uh, if you buy them together, uh, $149.99 for the lower receiver uh, and then $129 for the upper receiver with a last rumble hole open in there. That's a key feature because if you already oh, yeah, have the lower... That's what I was going to say. I mean, is it for every caliber the LRVO works? Yep. yep. And we, there's a lot of shit to unpack there, Jeff. That was... You need to pump your brakes. Ah, sorry, man. No, no, no. I get no. excited. No, that's good. It's, no, it's funny. <laughs> You're like, yeah, 940... 45, 10, like yep. explain how you guys are doing the receivers and how you're you're selling these things. So the receivers, uh, I mean, typically we're gonna have the same idea that we typically do for air precision. So you have your stripped configurations and that's not entirely an accurate depiction because there are some pro proprietary components in there. Um, so the stripped configuration will include those already pre-installed. Mm -hmm. So the mag catch that you see here, the extended mag catch, um, the pin that holds it there, the spring, uh, on the opposite side, the last round bolt open device, the cover plate, all that stuff's going to be pre-installed. The stuff that's kind of a pain in the ass to put in. Yeah, or the things you wouldn't be able to source anywhere else because it's our dimensions, right? I mean, so. basically, all I need is like a trigger and a grip, yep. maybe like uh, uh, takedown pins, uh, trigger components, safety, and a grip, okay. and then obviously the buffer and stop. Right, and then what's that going to run me for the uh, lower receiver? The lower receiver is one forty nine ninety nine. Okay. And you said like you're like 940, 4510. You're doing like two different variants. Right. The price points are going to be the same. Right. Uh, so they're really the only difference between them is the magazine well because of the larger magazine. Right. So one of them will do 9 or 40. Yep. The other one will do 45 or 10 mil. Correct. And we didn't mention the most important component. Yes. It takes Glock mags. Yes. I mean, that's the thing, like, really, it's going to freak people out. You know, it takes Glock mags, yep. functioning bolt hold open, uh, reasonably priced, 149 for, I mean, you guys are calling it a strip lower receiver, but it's not really a strip yep. lower Correct. receiver. What are we doing as far as uppers? Can I get a stripped upper? Can I get a complete upper? Yeah, so we'll do uh, we'll do the stripped upper, which would include the bolt hold open device. And then we'll also have configurations, uh, complete configurations like we typically offer. So barrel link, handguard, uh, muzzle device, and the upper receiver itself. So the charging handle, the, the main design here obviously is a standard uh, ambidextrous controls. Um, we just developed an angle and the, the bar configuration so that it's um, generate or pushing the force of the actual activation of the charging right. in the so robust areas. So like if you have to end up mortaring or something like that, you're not gonna have to worry about risking, you know, breaking it. Sometimes you have a charging handle snap or something like that. If you pull it back and lock the bolt back, you'll see that the the bar itself uses um, it uses a, a thick, uh, reduced chamfers on the side, so it's more of a uh, a solid piece. So that also helps with the strength on that. And then. Just in general, we have you know the raised area here, so if you're shooting suppressed, it'll help mitigate some of that gas that's coming back at you. And obviously the aesthetics uh, and everything are looking pretty sexy too. Awesome. So. And one thing that I thought was interesting, whenever I walked up and I first looked at it, I was like, this is almost like a Stainag Magwell, like a regular AR. Right. And I thought that it was gonna have a block in it, but you guys have actually generously beveled yeah. this Magwell opening, which is gonna be great for quick magazine yep. changes. You've got like a one piece lower here so your uh, trigger yeah. guards already there modeled after the m4e1 lower receiver which you've got yeah. a lot of experience yeah with. yeah yeah which so I love. um just carried those features over offered uh the benefits that that provides uh in our new platform sure and if i wanted to buy one of these complete what am i looking at like around starting price and the range uh Complete firearm? Yeah. I Right around a thousand dollars total. Okay. Somewhere For a complete one. Yep. Um, now, the most important thing, when are they going to be available? We're shooting for late quarter one, early quarter two, so March, April time frame. Um, that's just uh, getting the tooling and production ready. 
and then uh, packaging and all those things that kind of fall in place once you have the final product. Mm -hmm. so. Are you guys going to be selling the uh, barrels? I know Ballistic Advantage is going to be doing the barrels. Like, let's say I already have, I don't know, like AR components that, I mean, they're not arrows, so they're not going to be as nice, right? But sure. let's say I have them and I want to buy some components from you guys to finish building out my AR PCC or my AR9. Are you guys going to be selling those parts too? Yeah. So we'll have, uh, you know, bolt, uh, excuse me, uh, buffer kits and things like that that are uh, based off of our testing or what's going to run the smoothest in the configurations that we have available and um, you know other bits and bobs that you know help you finish out your build because that's what we do right and this is going to be right and this is going to be a proprietary bolt right that uh, it, i mean you can use other standard bolts on go. the market so yeah that was um, curious standard about that. blowback configurations right. most of them should work we've encountered a couple that don't but that's because there's not a standard sure um, but most of the popular brands and companies on the market will work with this with the like yep. standard ar9 bolt carrier yep. group. well guys i mean i think you've got a hit here do we have a name we don't. So we're currently uh, working through some, um, I wouldn't say they're legal issues, but it's uh, we just want to no, make sure we're doing our due diligence. No, IP. I mean, yep. dude, yeah, I, I totally understand yeah, that. Yeah. I've had to deal with that myself. So yeah. We're going to be stuff. really loud about it when we finally get it, though. So I'm excited about this. Yeah. You guys have something to be proud of here. Jeff, thanks as usual thanks, for James. talking. Appreciate you guys. Guys, I'll see you up on the show floor, SHOT Show 2020.